Hey people, your sparring shady bunch are here. So why do you want to be on Shade Corner? You know, sucking their juice, things like that. Yeah. We'll be looking for the most charismatic and witty VJs out there. Where you want to be, you have to study it. You have to focus on it. Exactly. Things. We're just getting started and the shades are flying like mad boots. How do you honestly say Aka is a bitch? You will not put me inside trouble. Your style to your attitude and charisma, we can see for sure that they did not come to play. I'm actually cool with Gen Z's. I'm a Gen Z, but I don't know what I can guarantee you they've got all it takes. They are bringing the shade and they're bringing it hard. Yeah. Would you be a side chick? Oh shit, oh shit. Finally, somebody said Aka. Sentimental oh, glory, 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 glory. I will never lie to you, baby. I don't know yeah. how to stop it. Join us for the Shade Corner VJ Sir. Next online or else, you are disqualified. Well, the person doesn't care. What's good, everybody? My name is Grand Friends Aite, and of course, we're coming to you from the vibrant city of Lagos, Nigeria, the melting point of this incredible nation. Today, we're on a mission of discovering the brightest talents as they ascend their rightful thrones in reasonable shades and commentary as far as the letter stories, the gists, the gossips, and everything in between is concerned in our society. Years ago in 2017, Accelerate TV decided to kickstart the show that has literally become a household name now. Shade Connor with the OG Shady Bunch, Akan Nani, Makita, King Cam, and of course the amazing Bayo. Spicing things up a little bit right after we have the beautiful Tamara, of course, and the side Ida novel. Listen, it has been six seasons of incredible entertainment and everything in between. But guess what? Celery TV is spicing things up this year by searching for the new faces of Shade Corner. Now, outside this building are incredible talents waiting to audition in order to become part of the new Shady Bunch. Do you think they have what it takes? Stay glued and keep watching. And this is how things are going to go down. From the list of people who have showed up here for the auditions today, we're going to cut down to an amazing number of 25. How exciting can that get? But first, let's get to meet our judges for this time. First contestant, Charles. Hi. Hi, Charles. So Can you hear me? You're a bit low. I'm a bit low. Yes. Can you hear me now? That's it, bro. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yes. You guys, Charles is the building. How are you doing, Charles? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Now talk to me. You were the first audition, literally opened the doors. You know, how did it go? I mean, it went well, to be honest. Um, nerves initially, of course, but got in an amazing um, panel. They settled me in, and it was just, it was cool. I enjoyed myself. Have you watched The Shade Corner? I have, actually. I, who's, I, your, I, who's your favorite member of The Shady Bunch? Ah, that's hard. <laughs> I'll say Prince. Okay. Yeah, because Prince is not much of a talker, right? Yeah. But every time he opens his mouth, it's just pop, 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 and I'm just like, wow. How does your mind work? I like that. What's the shadiest thing you've done or said? I won't say it's the shadiest, but like this just comes to my, came to my head right now. So I had someone that asked me if I had seen huh, Chef Dami's Ikiti State thing. So I went on the live, obviously, because I had not seen it. So when I opened the live, I was like, ah, what in the house fellowship is happening in this girl's part of? And that just came, I'm sorry. Is there anything you um, prepared for us, like a monologue or something you really want to talk about? Yes, I prepared in one order. Okay, yeah, let's hear it. Okay, great. <laughs> so congratulations are in order for Chef Dami of Ikita State as she recently concluded her 120 hour cookathon. But I do have some questions because wait, I go on that live and I still say, what's in the health fellowship is helping this person's parlor? What's in the overcome is practical? Because I really did not get it, you know, but it's what it is. Often not forgetting the fact that, you know, a whooping seven hours was taken off that of Hilda Bass. So I want you to all be left of shape, damn it, because only you are, you all gas to take bass. Only you are, you all gas to greet your fast. Only you are, you all gas to dance, Buga. I just can't be that. We believe here, 
I want to show you color that everybody deserves their flower. Now the question is what type of flower? Because some people like Aka will give them Ugu. People like Tenny B, Gabi will cast the healing. You know, but some people would receive, of course, their rose flowers. That being said, my name is Charles Bond. Welcome to an all new season of the Shade Corner. That was really good. good. That was really good. What's your favorite Shady Con um, Shade Corner, you know, moment ever? I would say the um, episode that I had, I've forgotten what season now, but the episode that had Bisola on it. I think I laughed more. It was chaotic. It was a mess. You know, and then just like the, the eye contact, the body language was even doing more than what they were actually saying. So why do you want to be a Shane Connor host? Will you be in Scissor Shade when Shane needs to be thrown? I won't say because I'm shady, but I think that I'm really um, honest and I'm just really direct. My mouth is not really creased like that. I'm supposed to be on this show. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I should be here. And then seeing this, I'm just like, you know what, grab it, Charles, go there and do your thing. I mean, yes. No, but it's all right. You know, wish you all the best with this. Chef down. Are you sure? Like, you can't not be shady people and then you're coming back to telling me love them right after the camera when I'm saying. So, right. yeah, yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Yes, please come back tomorrow, okay? Come back tomorrow, please. All right. Telephone, well, thank you. On time. I will be. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you make the next cut, you know, for the audition? I guess I did. Yes, I got it. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> what is the thing you're bringing tomorrow that you've not brought today? Listen, a bit more pizzazz. Because I feel like today was just, you know, soft landing. Let's just see him. Let's just know. I really haven't opened my mouth, to be honest. So, yeah, more possessed. Good luck with that. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Chop that call. What is the craziest thing you do for money? Ah, it's the Rated 18. Rated 18. Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> He's talking like somebody that he puts hot tea on inside his mouth. <laughs> it's just like disqualification. Nice. Now talk to me. Why is it important that you had to show up for these auditions today? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, Sapa has been me an introvert, so... Come on, you're far from the club, right? Last day, I don't go to the club. Really? My guy, for them. Not me, they yeah. Locked up, they don't let them know. Hey, hi. What's How your are name? You? My name is Faye. Faye? Faye Shonogu. Faye, what do your friends call you? FS. FS. Tell me a little bit about yourself, FS. I'm a presenter and a producer. I produce for TV. Um, I love talking a lot. I've been in the entertainment space since I was like little. Like this KKB show thingy. Yeah, something like that. So like it's really something I love doing. And I said that I love chopping like Okay, on that topic, what is the craziest thing you do for money? Ah, it's rated 18. Rated yeah, 18. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> is anybody, oh, is anybody younger yeah, than 18 yeah. here? I mean, sex on the field. On the field? Yeah. Which kind of field? <laughs> football field. <laughs> football field. <laughs> on the football <laughs> space. No, it's in the night. I love the whole jury thing going and talk to us a bit about it. Um, this, I, I got to love them by myself, Shaq, but. I love you're gonna start lying. This is from Louis Vuitton, this from Sarah, this from Louis Walt. Oh, please so love it. So what are you doing here? I mean, why did you decide to audition for um the, the, the Shade Corner audition? Well, cause uh I feel like I can shade. I do it well. Okay. Um have you watched Shade Corner? Yes, I have. Who's your favorite? Um, Tamara. Tamara. Okay. Yeah. Why? 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 She's the shadiest of the bunch. Mm. That's you just do yourself like this. Sorry, dear. You don't make it. <laughs> she <laughs> says it as a disqualification. Okay. Do you prepare any monologue for us or something? Uh, I did. Okay, so go for okay, it. Okay, talk to Let's it. All right. What's up, guys? It's Shade Corner O'Clock, and I'm super excited to be here with your favorite shady bunch, myself. Aka and Bio. And as you know, on Shade Corner, we serve you shade on the platter, you know, beside the steel waters. Woo! I love that. 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 Well, well, today on Shade Corner, we'll be talking about riding on other people's wave. Like some people say uh, the sky is big enough to fly, but even if you want to fly, don't let your wing clip on my own. Fly your fly. Day your day. What is that one thing you're hoping the judges get to see in you that is not in any other contestant right here, you know, at this edition? 
my ability to switch. I could like go from cool, calm, and you know, like sassy and all of that. I really want them to see that because that's what they need for the show. And anyway. Aka, what do you think about this? What do you think, Aka? What do you think? I think that's just nice. That's so sweet. I hear. I, I do hear you. <laughs> because life is about competition. Quiet. So I'm on my lane. <laughs> you are on your lane. Who oh, because town don't have money, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, well. Anyway, thank you so <laughs> thank much, you much FS, for thank coming. You. Have thank a great you. day. Just hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Um, come back tomorrow, 10 a.m. Thank you very much. How did it go? Went well. I'll see the car. What? So you told to come back? Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I do it well. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to see him, but I was like, I can just give them. Okay, good luck with that. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, and let's hopefully, uh, let, let's see how you do tomorrow. Amen, amen. Fingers crossed. Right? Chop knuckle. How are you? Hi, good What's your afternoon. Name? Uh, my name is Fedro, but most people call me Fage. So. Fage, I like your shirt. Where's it from? <laughs> um, I made it. For real? Not really. Can I have one? Yeah. We can talk. Tell me about yourself. I've been a stand-up comedian for half a decade. I say Whoa. half a decade, it sounds longer than five years, so... Yeah, that's very smart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smart. Yeah, um, I moved to Lagos because I thought I was going to make it. I'm here, so... I, 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 you said I thought I was going to make you it. You never know. So it's like, I thought I was going to make it. Alright, Fetch is the building. Fetch, what's going on? Uh, I'm alive. I mean, because even now Nigeria is not a perfect answer. I'm alive. Nice. Now talk to me. Why is it important that you had to show up for these auditions today? I'm looking forward. Do you get babes? Would you say you get babes? The ladies do come, but can. I can't afford the ladies. Why? Um, Sapa has made me an introvert, so, <laughs> so, do you... so nobody's really willing to hear your five-year plan. How or much you can... can you pop in the club right now? That's the thing, I don't go to the club, I'm an introvert. <laughs> he said Sapa has made him an introvert. No, but yeah. you can go to the club, you just don't buy bottles. Yeah, know? I'll buy Long Island and sit I, by I the mean, corner. Yeah. That's a concept. But all those boys from Malaysia will give me tension, so yeah. I'd rather not. Do you know any boys from Malaysia? If I do, I'm guessing they're in prison. Um, <laughs> what is it about the show that is absolutely relatable to you? The fact that they talk about every day, like what, what, what you would sit down with your guys and gist about or gossip about, that's, that's, that's the kind of things they talk about the show. So it's not far-fetched stuff. What would you say in Nigeria, the past two weeks, what would you think is the most interesting thing that's happened? What would you say? And tell us about it. I think most of my thoughts are shaped around the new administration because yeah, you guys shocking us everybody. It. Like, so you can actually speak coherently and not say things that we don't understand. And it, it's just, it's really shocking because it took everybody by surprise. Like, we didn't expect that he was going to make five sentences, and he has given us two speeches in two weeks. That's more than we got in eight years. So I mean, that is true. <laughs> so, actually, do you have a favorite host from the show? Uh, it's, it's really hard to pick, but, but I, I think I kind of have to. <laughs> I like Tamara because she's very relatable and I follow her from her other show, the one with the yellow wall. Mm -hmm. So, like, I vibe with her, her energy. So if I, if I was going to pick, I'll be kind of biased. I'll go, I'll go with Aka for sentimental reasons. Finally, somebody said Aka. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's it's for sentimental oh, reasons. Glory, 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 glory. <laughs> It's for sentimental <laughs> reasons. That's why I like Aka. Sentimental? Why? Yes. Is he your family member? Sort of. He... Okay. His alma mater and my alma mater are the same alma mater. Oh, oh. Wow. So that kind of vibe. So I'm like, mm. ah, somebody from that kind of vibe. You have to now tell us what this alma mater is. You're not telling them. No, Look at them. We went to Michigan State University. Hey, my boy. brother, don't lie. <laughs> I have not go there. <laughs> so, <laughs> Phil, where, where? The best university in the country. Don't you know it? I yes. Don't know. I don't know it. You don't need to tell them. Don't worry. Really? University of Lagos. What's oh. that? Oh. No? Oh. Can Who I shock you? Sorry, I didn't go to school here. I don't ah, know. Okay, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Coming at University. Coming at University. Oh, yeah. oh, is that not the prison one where they put you in? Yeah, like, you, so you see why I know about Ikoi prison very well. Like, there you go. Okay. Like, they've, been, they've been locked up. They don't let them out. What's the silliest thing you've done? Ah, I think it was, I was in second school. This was a while back and there was this girl who used to sing and um, she, she used to sing but she couldn't sing. So I was like one of the guys 
in the technical department and I will turn off her microphone. Okay. She's saying the show intro. Well, you say you're funny, but I, I mean, I need to see that part. You need to like a... She's like, prove you're funny, yeah. bro. Do a, do a no, show. you don't do that too. Like, no, no, no. Thank you so much for don't coming. Don't thank you anything. Thank you so much. She wants you to be funny, but after a lady got you for the baby one. You will leave your hands and be funny, be funny, make us laugh. I'm not, I'm not Congratulations, you've made you made it to the next round. See you tomorrow, don't 10 a.m. Don't you move, that's it. It's you. It's you. It's you. My guy, for that, it's not me here. The highlights of the, of the audition for you. Um, judges are kind of nice. Kind of. For Nigerians. <laughs> Tonight. When people are nice, you become very suspicious. What is that thing you're bringing tomorrow that you didn't bring today? I will bring the same thing I brought today myself. Fuck God. <laughs> There's no other me that I kept at all. Oh, you had your hand broken. Tell, broke. me, Tell me about your breakfast. She got pregnant. She got pregnant for yeah. who? You. Someone else. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, come on, drink Pepsi. Joe, can we call you Joe? <laughs> yeah, that means not dancing like she really cool for 100 hours. Where's your accent from? So Where I spent they? like 10 years of my life in the East. In the mm -hmm. East? In yeah. the East. I will never lie to you, oh, 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 baby. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, stop it. <laughs> oh, stop it. Look who I have on my couch, Dubai and me. What's going on? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. What's that? What's that on your hand? That's my name, Chidubim. What do you want us to call you? Young v. 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 Young V, yeah. Where's the V from? Valentine. Valentine is my name. Oh! And I'm young. As you are love, you have to exude love mm -hmm. to people. Yeah, you but you say love hurts. You, so. you say love hurts. Yeah. So you're on pace like this. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Are you on pace? Oh, you had your heart broken. Tell, broke. Tell your me about your breakfast. Uh, you want to know about The last it. breakfast I had, it mm. was really a good meal. It was a good meal. I would say, yeah, oh. it was a good meal. But it was served in a very terrifying way. Mm. So uh, it wasn't really too much, but she got pregnant. She got pregnant for yeah. who? You. Someone else. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, come and drink Pepsi. How do you know it was somebody else? Hold on. All right. How do you know it was somebody else? Did oh, you know you're born the Pekin now. Did she born the Pekin? Well, it wasn't too... It wasn't too difficult to find out, yeah? Wow. Though we're speaking over the phone and she always told me that she wow. had this... Wow! How long did you stay in Lagos? He's got three years. Yeah, He's like, your fault. Yeah. Is your fault oh, yeah. first? No, Three we years. always communicate. Uh, no, like two years. To we always we keep it in touch, and she always told me that you know she's there for me. Are you keeping in touch on your bumbo? No. So tell me, why did you decide to audition for uh, Shade Connor? Uh, well, exposure. I really want to be on the screen. I really want to, you know, feel like a celebrity. <laughs> I've always had this urge all my life. Although I've had several platforms, but it really not working. So I feel this would be. The better option. You know. Where's your accent from? Sorry? Were you, Were you born, born in Nigeria? Yes, I was born here in Lagos. I spent I Lagos. spent like ten years of my life in the East. In the East? In yeah. the East. Have you ever wow. been to the States before? No, but I have a little connection with the States. Oh, you have connection. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let me bust bust my head, bust my head. Yeah. What's the connection? Um I once had a I once had a relationship with a black American. I'm with him now. You are lying. We had we to do some things together. You understand? He sounded oh baby, what's up? So what is it about Shade Connor that you think would do it for you? Ah, uh, well, like the word Shade. I'm really good at it, but you know. <laughs> it is. How shady are you? Uh, 101. Oh, bro. What kind of music do you do? I run be so. R&B, ah! Yeah. Oh, yeah, My favorite yeah. genre. Yeah. See, this guy and me, Valentine. See me, you have to be coming down. <laughs> Sing me a lullaby. Sing me a bedroom. You know, I love the way you do the things you do, babe. Mm, yes. I got a couple I of things to tell you if you're listening to me, baby. You know, you blow my mind, no girl, yeah, yeah. But I just want to tell you, I'm the best man for you. As long as to be my baby, man, give me on the cover. I will never lie to you, oh, 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 baby. Okay. Hey. Oh, yeah. yeah, stop it. Oh, stop <laughs> it. Stop stop it. I'm unique in my own way. I, I do my things my way. I believe the things I do are unique. 
Temi, you are joking too much. Because I'm trying to give them something to give me back. She brings them out. She she makes them comfortable. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to Because if they leave it to Essie. Hey! They would, would just be like, present. Oh yeah, they go. Dragon. <laughs> lion. <laughs> Conqueror. Emperor. The, Emperor. Conqueror. the lion is here. <laughs> Next. Hello. Hi. How good are you? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Jay on Air. Jay on Air. <laughs> What's your real name? Uh, my full name Joseph Onolapo. Joe? Can we call you Joe? Yeah, I've not heard that in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> What's your last name again? Onolapo. Onolapo. So you're Yoruba? Yes, I am. Okay. Talk to us about this fit, you know. So the fit. It's a long story. Why well, not a long story? So my haircut is my bad hair day. So I said to go native so I could wear the cap. You get it. So just to finesse and look like I'm a rich person. <laughs> this makes me look rich, Abby. Yeah. I mean. Awesome. What's interesting about you, Jay? So I am a content creator. I work on radio. I do TV. I'm entertainment on two legs. Um, to be honest, I just want to be Jay. You know, that's what I'm. I'm hoping that they see that and they love that. So that's what I'm trying to do here today. Um, so I watched the show and everybody is not as shady. So the, some of them are just honest. And you can be tactical with saying what you want to say. You can be honest without being mean. So I think there are some people on the show that do that already. Are you shady though? Am I sh That's a good question. I am not very shady. So let's see how we go. How do you honestly say Aka is a bitch? I can say, you know, Aka is a really talented actor. But what he did tonight, I don't really know about that. You know, that's a subtle way of saying that, you know. That wasn't great. I don't get that. <laughs> He's like, okay, here. why do you make me do that? <laughs> but that's the point. Now, what's your favorite episode or favorite moment on the show that you cannot forget? Like, like, you can never, ever. I have my moments, but like, what's your? My favorite moment on the show is always the Big Brother moment, right. <laughs> right? And how one of them is always trying to run away. I say, I didn't say it, so I'm not there. It's always fun to watch and to get the reactions from the Big Brother fans, right? So, yeah. Thank you very much, Thank Jay. you so much, Jay, Thank for, for coming. coming. Thank you. And we love you. Okay, we love you. I appreciate it. All right, bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I feel like he wasn't giving himself. No, he was giving himself. Yeah? Like he was giving himself. He's a very reserved, he's nice, he's a nice person, he's a very reserved person. That's him. Oh, you know him? Really? Yeah. But like, he, not like why friends, was he holding his yeah. hands? Like he was just That's how he's well, if you see him at party, he's very he's for himself. He's very he's a very chill guy, yeah. And that's a wrap on this first incredible episode, which was an absolute blast, filled with so much talent, excitement, joy, and everything in between. So mark your calendars and join us for another explosive episode. Same time, same place. Until then, stay fabulous, stay cool, stay great, as we continue this journey of finding the next ultimate VJs in the VJ world.